Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. This is episode number 223. And you can find the show notes for that by going to trayerwilderness.com slash podcast 223. It is an absolutely glorious day here in North Idaho. Beautiful temperature, beautiful sunny day. Good for our solar, good for my soul. <laughs> And good for them. You can hear the old man jingling past. We're out for our daily walk. And I wanted to jump on and just give you guys some encouragement, share some good news with you guys, and just remind remind you guys that despite the chaos that we might be living out right now, there is still much good happening in our world. There is still much good happening in our day to day. And you've heard me say it for years now. It's so important to focus on the good in our lives. And you really need to do that now more than ever. In addition to that, what's really helpful in these times is planning forward as you've If you've been following us for a long time, you know that we've been preparing on a daily basis for tomorrow, for the last 11 years, and it has served us well so many times through my illness and and through our build through these times. And we need to continue to stay vigilant. We need to continue to prepare faithfully forward We need to be relentlessly faithful. That is this year's hashtag for my weekly live on YouTube is relentlessly faithful. We just need to continue to be faithful, faithful and trusting in him. And we need to continue to use our greatest weapon we have in our tool belt. And that is prayer. We need to pray God back into our lives, back into our families, back into our country, into our leaders. And what's really helpful in this whole scenario is surrounding yourself with like-minded people and being in a community that is encouraging, inspiring, supportive, and there for you. A place where you can make new friends, be surrounded by loving friends, and that's something that I've devoted the last several weeks to. The Treyer Wilderness Community page is available. Think Facebook without all the garbage. (laughs) That's what we were striving for, and we've created a community area that not only has a place where you can get to know one another and chat and share and be inspired and encouraged and supported. But there's also resources and educational materials at your fingertips in our community resource area. So I want to encourage you guys to join us there. One of the greatest things that has come from 2020 is the relationships that have been built through our YouTube channel and my live videos and my podcasting and getting to know everyone, getting to know one another, getting to pray for one another and support one another. And I wanted to take it a step further in creating this community page. One of the other things that will occur through this community page is a monthly Zoom meeting where you get to start to not only have relationships via chats and threads on posts, but now you can get to see people face to face. We've already had many friendships forming and people gathering outside of what we do. And it's amazing to see what God is doing in, in our fruitful labors. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. So I want to encourage you guys to join the community. It's free. And all you have to do is go to treyerwilderness.com slash community and you can join us there. We've also started 
a kid's corner, which is going to grow and flourish in a bunch of different ways. But right now we've started that and I do a book reading every Friday at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. And I am reading the book Lost on Hope Island by Patricia Harmon. She is a fabulous friend and a fabulous author. And I felt this book was very timely. And I think that it's really important that our children are learning right alongside of us right now in all that we do because they're our future and we need them to understand the importance of things. And I, I just, I feel it's so valuable. We did that with the mountain boy and um, we are seeing the fruits of our labor there as well. So I want to encourage you to have your kids in the garden, have your kids in the kitchen, have your kids involved in family meetings on preparedness and the things you're stocking up on. And discussions on what's happening in our world. It's important. So the Kids Corner is free as well. And you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash Kids Corner and sign up. It's been really fun. Uh, I've greatly enjoyed getting to know the kids. Many of the kids have actually been joining on my YouTube live along with their parents and making comments there. So it's really fun to get to meet their smiling faces and just to uh, form that community too because I hope that great friendships come from that area as well. And we've also started a weekly Bible study and that is Thursday evenings at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time and you can sign up for that by going to tryerwilderness.com slash Bible Study Book Club. If you go to the show notes for this week, you will find all these links available to you. And if you're traveling and you have a hard time remembering all of this, just go to tryerwildernessacademy.com and look under the store and add all the classes available. And you'll be able to sign up right there. So this is something that's ongoing. This is something that I've been working on daily and we'll continue to do so. There'll be a lot of growth there this year. The Mountain Man has a Trapping 101 video coming out, a series. Um, he also has a Blacksmithing 101 coming. I'm working on a mini series for breast implant illness. And the free bread baking course will be coming as well. That is just being moved from our previous academy over. Um, so it'll just be reopening there, but really good to help those of you that are wanting to be able to bake your own bread. I am now using a wood cook stove all the time for every meal. It's amazing. That's our only form of heat and only form of cooking. And I absolutely love it. If you haven't been following us on YouTube, we started our construction and milling our lumber back in September of 2020. And we did a daily video to share the progress and we are still doing so. Two weeks ago, I got kitchen cabinets and running water. And this past week, I got stairs. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but we've been using a step ladder to go from one floor to the other. So we now have stairs that retract and fold up out of the way, care of the mountain man's craftiness and his handy handiwork. So if you haven't been watching that, the series is available in our community to just easily watch from there. Or you could go to our playlist on YouTube. And a quick link for that is uh, tryerwilderness.com slash tiny cabin build. And you will be able to find all of our videos from start to finish. And you can binge watch if you haven't been following. Or you can just continue following our day-to-day -day progress. But it's been really fun. Um, we have people joining us from all over the world. UK, Australia, Germany, Netherlands, Ireland, and then all over the United States. And, you know, 
despite our chaotic times, like I said earlier, life is what we make it. There's so much in our lives that we cannot change on a regular basis to begin with. So when we start realizing that there's much that we can't change and stop taking our focus off of that and focusing on what we can change, focusing on what's good in our lives, your, your life will change. God can make beauty from the ashes. God is in control. And we are trusting God for the outcome of all that's going on here. And we're just living our lives, continuing to prepare forward. Upcoming, we will have a greenhouse build going on that we will be sharing. The Mountain Man is fabricating a bunch of new things in the shop this week, which we will take you on that journey as well. So there's a lot going on. And just an update on the Mountain Boy. For those of you that have been asking, he is still in Spokane, Washington with Moody Aviation. He is taking the missionary side of Moody and he has switched his um, focus from aviation to automotive. He has always treasured and desired greatly to be able to work on cars. So there is a class available to him for that. And he will be signing up for that and starting that in April and switching over to automotive and enter the missionary field with an automotive degree so that he can be useful in that avenue rather than the aviation. It's just his heart's calling. Um, he likes both. But when he found out that the automotive was available to him, he just was elated. So I'm very proud of him. He's thriving with Moody and doing very well, making a lot of great lifelong friends and really, really growing. It's very awesome. So thank you all for asking. And if you want to see what he has been up to, you can check him out at Bigger then autism.com his website is set up to update you on his progress there which we will be really delving into this year and it is also set up as a marketplace for those on the autism and Asperger spectrum and it will enable them to have their own storefront and a place to market their talents whether it's singing writing arts, things that are handcrafted, whatever the case may be, they will have a place to call their own and a place that they can sell their wares. And uh, he has done this to be able to give back to the autism community. So if you know people on the spectrum that this would benefit, please send them Austin's way. It would, it would do his heart good to see it thriving. He has his Elkhide leather moccasins on there and his paracord survival items on his store's front there. And he looks forward to expanding his community there and giving, giving lots of people a chance to be seen. So I am glad that I had this opportunity to come out here. For one, this is my renewal. This is my renewal every day. That doing my devotions and reading my Bible, I gain so much. And these are the things in my life that I guard. My time, my, my self-care and, and my time with God is extremely important to me. And I want to encourage you guys. Uh, I gave our YouTube community a challenge this year. And I would love to see you guys creating this new habit also. Take one to five minutes to start with every day, every morning. If that means you need to wake up ten minutes earlier... It's the most valuable time of my day. And you'll, you'll find that those one to five minutes are very powerful and provide a lot for your day. And you will expand those one to five minutes greatly as you progress. But take one to five minutes reading the Bible, praying, spending time with God. And I promise you, it will be a habit that forms and one that you will value as time goes by. So I'm challenging you 
and I would love to know who's taking me up on the challenge. So you can either email me at survive at tryourwilderness.com or you can go to our community and just leave a comment that you have taken up the five minute challenge. I would love to know because I know how powerful that time is for me and having God lead the way in my day makes all the difference in the world. So just wanna encourage you to take on new habits. New Year's resolutions fade, habits stick. Writing in your journal every day what you're grateful for and maybe even using it as your prayer journal. My journal is my gratitude and my prayer journal in one as well as a doodle, doodle pad at times. But it's very rewarding looking back and seeing what I've written, seeing the things I was grateful for, seeing the things that are happening, seeing what God was doing in my life on those days. So take up the challenge. Five minutes every morning with God. I promise you it will change your life. So, guys, I just want to encourage you. Our world is in a crazy place. It's, it's sad to watch. It's hard to watch. And you can live out of a place of fear or worry. Or you can choose to live out of a place of happiness and joy. I certainly choose happiness and joy because I'm not going to let them own my days. So, choose faith over fear. And join us in the community where you'll be able to... Be surrounded by like-minded individuals who are wanting to prepare forward and who will encourage, inspire, and, and support you through these uncertain days. So, guys, I love you greatly. I look forward to our next bit of time together. And until then, you guys take care and God bless.